This is June 25th, 2.15 p.m. Sunday, Erla Hart at work, clearing the land. Albert in action. Boy, those handy tools is very good when it comes to cutting the bigger uh, branches. Yeah, so far we did really good. I mean, look at that. You know, a uh, little section at a time. And uh, we don't really cut all the way down to the, you know, the shore because... Uh, we like to at least have at least a tree or two so that way it holds the soil and it doesn't erode the soil. So, so far we're doing really well and uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of uniformment. Uh, we were here since yesterday. We spent at least like about six hours today, maybe another six or seven hours and uh, we'll, we'll try to plant a few uh, seedlings uh, for seeds for seedlings if we could as you notice there is some um, there's some leaves have up leaves on top I'm using them for mulching that way uh, when it's too hot it doesn't really uh, it doesn't uh, dry up the, the the soil so much and especially the plants get a little bit more moisture so we brought some water so every time we leave, we at least uh, water the plants. So they'll be really good. Yeah, Albert is still wrestling with the, those trees there. Yeah, they're okay. Um, still a long way to go, as you can see. You know, our property is as far as with those big trees over there. Same thing with this. The rest of this farm, I mean, you know, three and a half acres, just the two of us, is, <laughs> it might take us like five years or even longer, but but it seems like uh, we're, we're seeing progress here doing this side of the, you know, the, the property. As you can see, right behind those bushes is the, the Skyjet River. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, our, our property is right at, wa it, at waterfront, so it's, it's really nice. So anyway, um, I think, uh, you know, I I have to uh, plug in this uh, phone camera. Uh, I think it needs uh, more uh, battery. Alrighty, well, I'll take some more pictures later or some smaller videos. Uh, it looks like... Uh, Maybe for a, another minute. Alrighty. Bye for now. <coughs> Look at that, a motorized paraglider. Cool. Today is June 25th and we're at Skagit. 
in our hobby farm. And I think for a couple of days since yesterday and today, at least a minimum of uh, six hours each day, I think we did pretty good. Um, as you can see, there's there's an extra space there added to our uh, last month's work. We were here, I think uh, it was Victoria Day when we were here. Yeah, we only come here every uh, uh, long weekend. And of course, uh, today, the reason why we're here today is because Albert has to go do some kind of uh, training for his work. So I tag along and uh, we won't be back to Vancouver or I would say Surrey or Canada, British Columbia until Tuesday night. But I think uh, so far we're doing really good. Tired. I think these last two days I think we overdid ourselves as you can see. Now, um, oh yeah, there there you go, you found it, thank you. Now if I can just, uh, you know, uh, find my rake, and I know where it is, I think it was buried in those pile of uh, black, dead blackberries, vines. But I'm sure I'll find it, you'll find it. So anyway, I only got like 20 minutes in this, uh, in this uh, phone camera and the battery will need to get the recharge. So, uh, as you can see, if you notice, those, uh, there's some uh, green leaves on top of those uh, area there where we, we, uh, we did our seedings. Uh, yeah, some seedlings are showing up, uh, uh, you know, especially carrots and some of the uh, vegetables that we put there. They're okay. Um, uh, it seems like the potatoes are okay if... You know to plant if the, the the eye buds are already showing up when you plant it but if you plant a fresh you know uh, potatoes without the eye buds with, without the eye buds showing you know uh, like a plant small little uh, settling them yeah you're taking a chance and of course it's just too much heat here but but we managed to find a way of putting mulch on you know mulching them even the, the fruit trees that we have there, there is one or two there that is really drying up. But then we, you know, we, we put some mulch there as well. And um, we didn't cut all the trees all the way to the shore of Skagit River for the reason that um, we don't want to encourage people to go there, especially when, you know, uh, the, the, the soil will erode. And also the trees will protect, you know, those last lines of trees there right close to the shore will protect the, the soil from eroding. And so as those, uh, you know, uh, now also uh, access to the river. Um, they have some, um, they have actually a really special, uh, you know, park there just beside us that they, they do their fishing. As you can see, there's some, you know, some cars, trucks, uh, fishing, you know, uh, uh, Fisher Mound, just for hobbies, they, they go there and do some fishing. Sometimes they got boats and, and that, so uh, that's really good. Um, those are that that beside us is owned by this, you know, the the, the city. So um, yeah, it's more like a, a public, uh, you know, a space. So they can they can use that. But of course here, uh, uh, this this area here, all the way as you can see, where that big tree over there, the very end. That's where our sort of like our uh, border for our uh, three and a half acres, and of course it's considered private property. Um, we do as much as we could. Uh, we got this place in September 15, 2021, and uh, we tried to clear, as you can see there, uh, there's a little pond there. Well, it's drying up now. Um, we used to do our seedings there, but uh, I think the rain or the, the water just didn't recede as fast as uh, last year. So, um, so far they, they're doing good. It's drying up again. But I think we're just gonna, this year, we're just gonna concentrate in this side of the uh, the, the farm because uh, uh, at least this area here, at least nice and dry. And uh, we, 
we still got a lot of access of water too because you know the the Scudger River is just beside you know just behind that uh, you know a uh, few trees there it's really nice anyway um, I think uh, we better get going and uh, yeah I think we have to go um, we got time maybe tomorrow night or maybe Tuesday on our way home uh, we might stop by uh, after Albert's uh, training at uh, ICOM America uh, we'll be staying at least a couple of nights so uh, at Marriott well Anyway, uh, we gotta go. Bye for now. Hi, darling. Wave, wave bye. And you will, yeah, you have to wave bye now. Bye. Thank you. That's it for this, for this uh, you know, uh, this video.